Welcome to the world of Joan. Today I want to talk to you about a very important subject. It's hate. Hate breeds hate. Now I'm not perfect and there's probably about 1% of the population I really don't care for. I try to see good in everybody and I get bitten quite often because it's hard for people to be good. It seems to be easier for them to be mean and selfish and petty in so many ways over things that's not even important. Like the Hatfield and McCoy feud that went on for a long time. Well, my understanding it was over something stupid like a hog or something like that. But they killed each other off. Well, Lordy, praise be. I would have just sat there and said, let's sit out and eat a hog. It's just stupid. There's feuding over the color of our skin. A feud over our faith. Hatred breeds out of it. And you hear people talk all the time. Well, if you don't belong to a church, you're not going to go to heaven. And you got to belong to a particular faith. I want to tell you, it doesn't matter what faith it is. Now, I believe in God. And I've visited all kinds of churches. And what I've learned over the years is that all around us is a world of God, of creation. And we do things that don't make sense. But if we let hate live in us over something that happened no matter how small or how big it's like a tumor it keeps growing and multiplying and you become mean inside you ever seen those people you've come across and they were just flat out mean no matter what you did they was mean and they made you feel bad inside. And you just didn't want to be around those people. Because they were just flat out full of anger. And you never done anything to that person. But that person flat out mean. To live like that with so much hate in here. Isn't good. You become reclusive. You become a lonely person. You see everything through this hatred. To you, a rose isn't a beautiful flower that smells good. All you see is those thorns that hurts and it makes you bleed. You can't let hate control you. It's hard to forgive people. Forgiveness isn't easy. Just try to be nice. It isn't easy. You're smiling at people when you know flat out that person is going to be mean. It isn't easy. Hatred creates hatred. You've seen it time after time after time over the centuries from one continent to another. One race thinks they're better than this race. We're going to get rid of this people because they're not good enough. We're better. What's wrong? It's wrong. Yes, I believe in defending your land. I believe in defending your family and defending your home if it becomes necessary. It doesn't mean I hate that person. I'm just defending what I have to defend in a situation like that. You've got to sit down and think about it. Do I want to let that hatred in me control this? Do I want to let that hatred control my whole life? Do I want to become somebody that I remembered that I just felt sorry for and that person was so mean and angry
angry and hateful do I want to become that person? Do not let hate control you. You don't have to be around those people if you don't want to be. But you don't have to let it control you. You control it. You walk out that door every day and you put a smile on your face and say, today is a new day. What happened, happened. I'm not happy about it. I'm still angry about it. And I may never forgive it. But I'm not going to let it control me. I'm not going to let it create the hatred in my heart I'm not going to let it become a tumor to infester in me and grow and grow and take over every little bit of my being. I'm going to control it. I'm going to go out there today with that smile on my face, with this attitude that I am going to control it. May not like it, may not like what I'm seeing. But I'm not going to let it control me. So don't let hate control you. From the world of Joan, be safe, be happy. Bless all of you.